Well, uh, you know, today is Beth's birthday, so it's two years without her. And uh, I wrote today, I, I wondered what am I gonna put on social media? Because yesterday that's all I thought about. What do I do? What do I, you know, dinner with the kids, what do I do? And uh, Francie also lost her husband, Bob, six months before Beth went to heaven. And I went to Francie finally this morning and said, what do I do? And she said, honey, Beth is in heaven partying with Jesus and all the angels. So whatever you do, talk about that. So I thought, oh my God, what a relief that you, you know, have, she's been through it. So she knows what to do, right? And uh, it's three years almost since Bob passed, three birthdays she hasn't been with him. So I put out this morning, you know, a little tribute to Beth and that, you know, if uh, you, you can read it, it says something about partying with God and all the Jesus and all the angels on her birthday. Uh, again, Francie's there for him. She, you know, she's not their mother, but she's helping a lot because she is a mother. And uh, every day, you know, I talk, I try to talk to every one of my kids every day. And some days is tough for them. And some days is less tough, but you know, we have to cope with it. I mean, if we could make her come home, we would all do that. Whatever it cost or threaten anybody, you know, there is in the world I would threaten. I, who cares? I would get her home, but she'll never come home. She's in heaven. So the kids realize that too. And uh, we all kept her phone number, like, you know, it's hooked to me on my cell. And then every year I hook it to each one of the kids and they can answer calls to Mata, their mom. And so we're doing, you know, things that to always keep her on our mind. Being anybody that is close to you like that, especially a spouse, uh, you miss them forever. You know, I thought this morning, if we'd have got a divorce and she would have been a, put a restraining order on me, I'd be in jail because I would have broken the restraining order. And, uh, if she wouldn't never, you know, finally realize she's just never coming home. And uh, if it would have been a divorce, like I say, I'd have been, you know, in jail, uh, violating the restraining order, because I'd have went. And so Francie helps me with so many things. Again, she's not Beth, but Beth's not Francie. And uh, I just needed a Francie next to my side to help me make it, so thank God that, you know, I traded God one night. And I said, listen, my name spelled backwards is yours. I just told this to Francie this morning. Uh, in the Bible that I read, and it's not, I don't think you can pray to someone that's been, and that's in heaven. You know, you're supposed to pray to God through Jesus, right? Uh, I don't like talk, I sure felt when I met Francie, that she went on to help the kids. And all of a sudden, Gary Boy just got a brand new job. Bonnie Joe got a brand new job. Cecily's uh, boyfriend got a real nice bonus. He's a plumber. And all of a sudden, the kids started getting all the blessings. And I could feel, you know, Beth saying, uh, You're okay now, Big Daddy. I gotta go help the kids. So, you know, and if all this is your imagination and you just die and forget it all, but I really believe as I get older that there is a God and there is a uh, another place that we'll be together someday and all of us together, because the Bible says there'll be no marriage in heaven. Everybody's gonna be hooked up in love, da 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 partying with the angels. And the Bible says that he will give us charge over planets. And that's for the soldiers. And I'm one of his soldiers. So I plan on being on Jupiter or something, fighting demons. <laughs> well, 
Well, Francie uh, is taking notes, okay? And then I realized Francie and her uh, two sons are avid hunters. They bow hunt. And I mean, like, constantly, right? So uh, Francie started helping me, and I I thought, oh, my God, she's, she's a hunter. And uh, that, you know, that they, Francie's, Francie is not trying to be bad. And there will be a not, never be another Mrs. Dog. But as I have said, there will be a final Mrs. Chapman. So there's a lot of things that uh, Francie would never do that Beth did. And there's a lot of things that Beth would never do that Francie did. So, you know, uh, it, she's not trying to take her place, but uh, she is going to be by my side. I can't stand it. Any woman that I fall in love with or that I uh, want to be around, I can't stand leaving them at home. And the women that I love, uh, they trust me, but they'd rather be there watching me. So Francie's one of those, you know, she's a rancher and she said, you know, I have a thing called a sawzall. And I'm like, well, what is that? Yeah, you don't know either. Well, it's a little drill and the saw blade goes up and down like that. And she said, so be good. I said, I will. So uh, she's a handful, let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of similarities. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, you know, they're both tough. Uh, they'll take on a, a bull head on. Uh, they love hard. They both, Beth, loved hard. People would say to me, you'll never find another person that loved you as much as Beth. And that really worried me. And, you know, I don't want to say this, but Francie really loves me and I really love her. But there are a lot of similarities and there's a lot of differences but uh you know you you flock to what you're used to or you go to you know uh what seems comfortable and francie who would have thought that i dog the bounty hunter would have found a rancher or a farmer a ranch lady girl you know that wasn't in my black book i mean i was like oh this is never gonna work mm -hmm.